Hello there and welcome to Useful Graphic Design Tutorials Videos. My name is Davina and you've already met my sister Caroline. I'm going to take you through the process of downloading Inkscape to a Mac. But first of all, what's our aim for the rest of the videos? We want to show you how to create a graphic from start to finish so that you have an image you can use. You can then apply what you've learned to create other graphics such as headers, flyers, adverts, etc. And we're using Inkscape to do this. But why are we using Inkscape? Well, it's a vector drawing program and is very well suited to creating graphics. It's free and we like free. It's very flexible. It's intuitive to use and has lots of capabilities. It's a great tool and although our videos can only give you a taster of what is possible, hopefully you want to learn more. The best way is to play around with Inkscape. But do feel free to contact us if you want more information on how to learn more. The contact details are at the end of this video. I'm now going to show you how to download Inkscape for a Mac and we will be using version 0.48.2. We're now in Inkscape.org and at the top on the right here is the download button and this bit here tells you which is the latest stable version 0.48.2. So we'll click on the download now and we're taken to sourceforge.net which hosts Inkscape. The interesting thing is SourceForge knows that you're working on a Mac and so what they're doing now is waiting for you to either accept the application or discard it. Well obviously if we need to use it we've got to keep it. So click on keep and I'll pause here whilst it's downloading. OK, so it's uh, downloaded and I'm going to click on the little arrow there and go to Show in Finder. And you'll see it's in the downloads and it's in, well, it's highlighted in green. Before we open up Inkscape, I do need to point out some changes that Apple have made. Included in every operating system up to and including Lion was the application X11. And let me show you where it is. It's in Applications, it's in Utilities, and it's this one down the bottom here. This program allows Mac systems to operate with open source programs, which Enscape is, and all the others as well. For some reason Apple didn't include it in Mountain Lion. If you don't have X11 you're going to need X Quartz which is this one here. So let's go over to the website and show you. As you can see I put X Quartz, in, quartz into Google and it's the top one that you need. So if you click on, on there you come to that information. You've got the download here and it's 2.7.2 and it was released on 1st of June 2012 and it is for 10.6 or later and it includes Mountain Lion. There are other releases which you can find here. So what we do is we click on X Quartz there and again, I'm going to pause. Whilst it's downloading, I've gone back to Google search and clicked on X11 here because this is what it's replaced. And I think that's quite a useful page to read. The latest re releases are here and it's the stable one that you want. And it'll tell you all about it and, and why. It's finished downloading. So again, I'll go and show in the folder. What is important now is you have 
downloaded or you've got Inkscape on your computer, you've got Quartz on your computer. The sequence of events are that you open X Quartz up first and we'll do that by double clicking. Done that. And then go click on there and go up to File and open with Installer. And you will get this box here. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it on my computer, but all you need to do is just click, keep clicking continue and follow the instructions. I'm going to come out of there and out of there. When it's downloaded, what you need to do is restart your computer. That's very important. Once you've restarted your computer, then you can go to Inkscape and do the same thing. Double click and move the Inkscape icon into the Applications folder. All you need to do then is click on and open it up and you should be able to use it. Come out of there. So that's the end of this short video. If you have any questions or comments, come over to our fan page and the address is below or email us on sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com. That's it for this video, but I shall see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.